Hi everyone, my talk is about theoretically efficient and practical parallel DB scan. My name is Yi Chu. This is a work done at MIT with Yan Gu and Julian Shan. DB scan stands for density based spatial clustering of applications with noise. It's invented in 1996 by Esther et al. It has a number of advantages. It doesn't require the number of clusters beforehand. It detects arbitrarily shaped clusters as shown by the first row example. It's also robust to noise as shown by the second row example. Let me first define the problem. Deep scan is taking two parameters, epsilon and mean points. Epsilon is defined as the radius of the circle centered at each data point. And mean points is a threshold on the number of points inside such circles. We we'll call such circles epsilon circles. Let's set the mean points equal to three and go ahead and define core points. Core points are the points with at least mean points number of points in the epsilon circle. In the example, the point highlighted in blue has three points in its epsilon circle, so it qualifies as a core point. Now let us mark all the core points as shown in blue. And in addition, we connect two core points if they're within epsilon to each other. So we got two connected components. And we give the second one a different color, so we have our initial clustering. But we still have some other points left. Let me next define border points. Border point has fewer than mean points number of points in its epsilon circle. However, we can see that in the circle, it contains at least one core point. So it will have the same cluster assignments as the core points in its epsilon circle. We still have two points left, and these are called the noise points. And noise points do not have cluster assignments. Some related work mainly on algorithms Sequentially, Gunawan and De Berg in 2013, as well as Gan and Tao in 2015, they designed efficient algorithm for exact and approximate DB scan. And Gan and Tao also has fast implementation for exact approximate DB scan sequentially. And they also won Best Paper Award in 2015 second month. In parallel, there has been numerous attempts. Xu et al. in 1999 are the first people who, to parallelize DB scan. And after that, there are a few more noteworthy works by Patwo et al., Goss et al., and Sun et al. They use the different approaches, such as distrib distributed machines uh, in memory processing, and they use different frameworks, such as MapReduce, uh, MPI, or OpenMP. And there are many, many more such attempts. We observe that the challenges in these parallel uh, algorithm the implementation are that there is a lack of theoretical guarantees and they usually have high scalability but low work efficiency. Our work aims to solve exactly this problem. So our parallel algorithms has work bound matching that of the best sequential algorithm, and they have polylogarithmic poly depths. We come up with highly optimized implementations and we perform a comprehensive experimental study. We achieve orders of magnitude speed up and we realized that we can process the largest data set in the DBSCAN literature just on a single multiple machine. Let me first introduce the theoretical model that we use. We use the work depth model for parallel algorithms. Work is defined as the number of operations used in a parallel algorithm, and the depth refers to the length of the longest sequence of dependence in the parallel algorithm. Given work and depth, we use the brain scheduling algorithm you use P processors to make sure the running time of the parallel algorithm is the work divided by the number of processors plus the depth. So the goal here is to minimize both the work and the depth. Usually when the depths are lower, that means there's higher parallelism. In practice, we use the silk work scheduling scheduler to achieve a similar bound expectation. Here's a summary of our parallel algorithms we designed parallel algorithms for exact DB scan that work in two dimensions, three dimensions, as well as any constant dimensions. We also designed parallel algorithms for approximate DB scan. Uh, note that the work bound of all our parallel algorithms matches that of the best sequential counterparts. And when that happens, we say that the algorithm is work efficient. We will focus on the algorithm highlighted in yellow, which is the exact DB scanning algorithm that work in any constant dimension because it worked the best in practice. Here's a glimpse of our practical results. So this is a uh, bar plot showing the running time of different methods on a 24 million point data set. As, as shown here, the y-axis is showing log scale. Our method highlighted in blue is 
uh, orders of magnitudes faster than existing implementations. Let's first uh, imagine what would be a naive parallel algorithm look like. So we would imagine that points will have to issue parallel range queries and also after determining the cordless as well as the neighborhood, they have to also uh, perform some kind of parallel connector components algorithm. This can lead to quadratic work in the worst case because each range query issued can be linear in work. And on the other hand, our efficient parallel DB scan algorithm borrows the intuition from existing sequential algorithms. We first construct grid cells on points where the side length of each grid is epsilon over square root of dimension. At two dimensions, this is epsilon over square root of two. So this technique is first used by D. Bergetal sequentially. To construct such a grid cell in parallel, we sort all the points based on the, their cell IDs and then use a parallel hash table to maintain the grid cells. With the grid, we'll go ahead to mark the core points. So we'll loop through the points in parallel. And before that, for each point, we have to check its epsilon circle and every point inside with the grid data structure. Um, we're able to guarantee that all the points that previously fall into the epsilon circle must now be in uh, the 21 cell neighborhood. And the advantage of the grid data structure is that when the cell becomes very, very dense, when it has more than many points, number of points, we're able to instantly determine that every point must be core points. We have all the core points. Now we want to determine the connectivities. Rather than doing the connectivity among the points, we do it among the cells. We use a parallel bichromatic closest pair algorithm on any two cells. And if their closest pair of core points is within epsilon to each other, we connect the cells. And the core points inside each cell must already be connected because they are already, already within epsilon to each other. Which is the connectivity for the cells, we also get a connectivity for the core points. So we get our initial clusters. For the remaining points, step four, we use a similar technique as we did for step two. And note that the work bound of our parallel algorithm matches the best uh, sequential algorithm, which is by Gantau in 2015. Similar to sequential implementations, we also use the optimization in our power implementation to make it run fast. And remember earlier that we will need to look at a 21 cell neighborhood in two dimensions for each point to uh, mark its corners as well as exploring its neighbors. In higher dimensions, the size of this neighborhood grows exponentially and become very big. And so in higher dimensions, we maintain only the non-empty neighbors in a parallel KD tree to speed up the process of retrieving such a neighborhood. And then we also use the parallel pruning technique. Remember the step where given the cells want to determine their connectivities. In the naive case, both cell one and cell two will issue queries to all of their neighbors, which sum up to be 10 queries and be expensive. Gan and Tao in their sequential implementation first use the unified data structure to keep the connectivity on the fly and put down queries when necessary. We extended this technique to parallel setting. In particular, uh, when cell one issues query to cell two, cell two doesn't have to issue it back. And when cell one issues query to cell two, as well as cell two's neighbor, it determined that all three of them must be connected. Cell two doesn't have to look at the neighbor again. And in addition, we discovered that um, the order that cell one and cell two carry out these queries also matters. Uh, some, when we swap the order of cell one and cell two, there will be even fewer queries. So we come up with a parallel ordering technique and implement it using a parallel bucketing algorithm. Now for experiments, we perform all of our experiments on the AWS platform. And we mainly use the machine shown on the top with 36 cores and 144 gigabytes of RAM. We, in addition, for some of the largest data sets, we use the second machine, which has 48 cores and 768 gigabytes of RAM. Our implementation shows good speed up over both existing sequential and parallel implementation. And when our algorithm is running on a single thread, we are up to five times faster than the best sequential implementation. And in parallel, we have additional speed ups as shown by the plot here. The X axis shows the number of threads and the Y axis shows the self relative speed up, meaning it's the speed up over the same method running on a single thread. So our method is shown in the green line and which is higher than um, the baselines and the competitors show in the black lines. And now let me show a second plot. 
The second plot uh, is a, still shows speed up, but it shows the speed up over the best sequential implementation. And as we can see when comparing the two plots here, the black lines is reasonable for the left plot, meaning the baseline has reasonable self-relative speed up, but they lay flat on the right plot, uh, meaning the baseline actually does not perform well against the best sequential implementation. They actually did not outperform the best sequential implementation, even when using other cores. This is because the competitor method, the baselines are not uh, work efficient. Uh, our method being work efficient perform well in both cases. Overall, we have 200 to 300 times speed up uh, in comparison to existing parallel competitors. We also show good speed up over the state of art parallel implementation, which is RPTP scan. This is a distributed map reduce framework that aims to tackle some of the largest data sets. And we list the data sets here and tested our method also on the same set of data sets. The last data set has more than 4 billion points and 13 dimensions. And the bar plot on the right shows the running time plotted in log scale. And we reported the running time of these data sets running on both our own method and on RPDB scan. So we test RPDB scan on our own machine, which is the same machine that we tested our method. And on top of that, we take the minimum between the running time that we got for RPDB scan and what they got in their paper because they are using a distributed system with the same core count. We found our algorithm orders and magnitudes faster. We believe the advantage comes from a better algorithm, less overhead of C++, as well as less communication overhead in a shared memory setting. In conclusion, we have the fastest parallel DB scan code with therapy guarantees, which is already available online. Please also check out our full paper in the archive. Uh, we summarize our contribution in below in the slides, and we will take any questions. Thank you.